Hi everyone, it's Sarah here and today's video is a really important one. It is the ideal winter coat for your body shape. If you don't know your body shape, I will link a video to work that out down below. Check that out and then come back here. So let's get started. We'll start off with the pear shape. So this means your hips are going to be the widest point of your body shape. So what we want to do is add a little volume to balance out the hips. So we're thinking anything with maybe faux fur detailing around the neckline, a big chunky hood is gonna be great. Um, anything with big collars, uh, that is gonna work great for you. The thing to avoid with the pear shape is to remember not to let the hemline of your coat finish at the widest point of your hips. Rather, try to get something that finishes about four inches below the hips or four inches above the hips. That way you're not gonna draw attention to that widest part of you. But the main thing is to add more volume on top to balance out your figure. Let's talk about the inverted triangle shape. So your widest point is gonna be around your shoulders and your bust. So what we don't want to do here is add any more volume to this area. So we're thinking um, again to avoid this time faux fur hoods and lapels, things like that. So instead you want to think about a coat that is going to cinch in at the waist with a belt and then come out in an A line. So nothing that's going to go straight down or hug the hips too much because that is your narrowest point we want to create that hourglass shape to create balance. So think about the coat that comes out at the sides. Also think about something that has pockets in it. This is gonna add volume to the lower half. For the round shapes or apple shapes, you want to think about elongating the figure. So anything that has uh, buttons that go straight down in a straight line, nothing that has a double breast maybe because that is going to add more volume to the bust, to the tummy area. So avoid that. So single breasted coats that ideally can be worn open. So that's gonna create the um, vertical lines going up and down and give you an elongated figure. Then we have the rectangle shape. So your measurements are pretty much say, the same between your shoulders, your hips and your waist. There's not much definition in the waist area. So if you want to create a little bit more femininity in your look, choose a coat that is going to be belted. So always choose a style with a belt on it. That's going to always cinch in the waist. And again, think of something maybe with peplum in it, a uh, little bit more detail on the shoulders. So you're going to be creating that hourglass shape, that balanced shape. And finally, we have the hourglass shape. So you are already in balance. Your shoulder and hip measurements are pretty much the same. However, your waist measurements are going to be quite a bit smaller. So you want to highlight that. So you don't want to think anything that's too sloppy or boxy when it comes to choosing your coat. If you choose a coat with a belt on it or something that's a little bit more tailored, that's going to show off that waist and the curves, that is going to work beautifully. That's it for today, guys. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and I'll see you next time.